She is an award-winning interdisciplinary artist, curator, and celebrationist who has recently stepped away from decades of arts administrative work to focus on her own art in her life's third act. Please give a warm welcome to Sharon Stevens. Finally, a button I really get to press. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me here to participate this evening, and here I go, pressing the button. I have loved Calgary since the Eau Claire was a bus barn and the Husky Tower was Husky, or the Calgary Tower was Husky. The image is from a media art project I called A Crash Course on Loving Calgary. Artists were leaving the city for better careers and opportunities, and I wanted to stay, and I wanted to find ways to love our city and share the love of Calgary, OXYYC. More on that in 24 seconds. I was born in High River, and then shortly after, like three days after, my family started traveling all around the Alberta. For six years, we moved 60 times in a trailer, just like you're seeing there. My dad worked for seismic crews. And then every, every few months we would pack up. So talk about closure, packing up, moving down the road to the next small town over and over again. I'm gonna knock, oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. no wonder I love the Prairie Vista. So what you're seeing here is the Greyhound office building. As we've been talking about the bus barns were here and the Greyhound office building was there. Oh my God, I go fast. Okay, <laughs> this is like, this is uh, the election. Sometimes closures happen because an election comes along. I worked for Bev Longstaff and we together lost our jobs in 2001. But we were here again and again when this building was sold and sold again, et cetera, in the late 80s. Um, so in 2009, the lunar year of the ox, I started a crash course on loving Calgary, a participatory project of places and reasons why people love our city. It was an audiovisual mapping tour before they became apps. I was invited to take my bike and mic on the road to record what people loved about their neighborhoods. I loved it. It was very engaging. I've noticed that our city either knocks buildings down or takes them to Heritage Park. <laughs> I think of Heritage Park as a zoo for old buildings. <laughs> Somehow, I have managed a collection of bricks from various demolished buildings, like the Ross Kerr block on the corner of 10th Street and Memorial. In 1988, it was burnt, it burnt down, and the site was vacant for several years with a boring, boring fence all around it. <clears throat> I worked across the street from that fence and walked by every day, so I organized a fence painting day. With the developer's approval, they even paid each artist 20 bucks and offered free paint. There was hundreds of people moving on. The G8 ball, that G8 ball was here at the Eau Claire Market um, Plaza during the G8, and in 2002, we pushed the G8 ball down the street to Olympic Plaza and unveiled it, which became a planet a planet that lived in someone's backyard. And they gave it to me after 10 years to do something with. So a few of us put it into the, what I call the womb of the old Y building. It's a, it's a space in the building that you can't access except through the window. And when we did that, this giant 10-foot planet lived down there for a while, but the neighbors, the um, Beltline Pool noticed it and they put in a climbing wall. So activate spaces. Oh, okay. Now, this is more solemn, but this is the uh, event I produced and uh, curated, Equinox Vigil, thank you, in Union Cemetery. It was a, an event for people to gather with artists leading the way. It grew very large, over 500 people. I tried to talk the city into taking it on, uh, but that didn't work out, so I still do work like the Digital Shrine. Um, it was a project, the Digital Shrine was a project I dreamed up and hired folks to help with the technology. Participants are invited to send tributes or simply the names of the dead. I believe we are inspired by each other's words and sharing our thoughts amplifies the presence of the dead in our lives. Then more, more recently, I did a artist in residency at the 1886 building, which was through C Space. It was called Artifact or Fiction. And um, I hosted nine events in the, in, for the public to gather to talk about various themes of remembrance, longing, memories, history, documentation, and letting go. All kinds of closure, to be sure. The residency, along with funding, afforded me the time and space to reveal, remember, and reclassify. Many visitors to the residency also gained new ideas of what to do with their stuff. 
This is a shrine that was created during the residency and featured funeral cards and obituaries. The last, and folks were brought them in and we attached them on the last day the shrine was ceremoniously carried outside. Cards and names were read out loud and added to a fire. Fire is a big part of my <laughs> of closure for me. I lost everything in a house fire once, so I, that's a big experience. Another brick, another closure, and now five seconds of silence while I catch my breath. <laughs> in 1988, the General Hospital was demolished. I was there with hundreds of people to watch the implosion explosion. There were tears and tears. I invite you to go to the first General Hospital in Vic Park, which is still intact. It's those old ruins, and it's right beside the new SAM Center that's going to be uh, part of the stampede. We do a lot with our bricks. There's the Olympic Plaza bricks. Uh, laid down for the 1988 celebrations, purchased by families like mine. This was me 14 years ago doing at Pocacica in Olympic Plaza during Stampede Week. The theme was West. Uh, <laughs> this sidewalk that you're about to see is installed with bricks from Eau Claire Plaza. Uh, and it's at the Coot Center near Nanton, where I work part time. Yeah, you should visit. <laughs> the, we repurposed to give new life to items from the past. The pattern was designed to replicate a patchwork quilt, which is a nod to the settlers who colonized Alberta. For 10 years, I worked as the ED for a, a media arts organization called AMAS. Recently, and with great funding, yay, uh, we concluded a two-year succession plan that included boring stuff like archiving, bylaw updates, resource development, consultants, and then hiring a new ED. It, I pass the torch in a way that I'm super proud of. This was not done by AI, this was just done by me. Uh, <laughs> spirals really are important for me in my visualizing because I feel like I keep repeating things, but I'm getting better at it. Um, so these are some ideas here that I resonate with me, and thank you.